In this movie, we're going to learn how to put comments into a PDF. So if you're one of my clients, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. It's going to make your life easier. It's going to make my life easier. Uh, you'll find that comments are, are really great. I've grown to love them, and um, they're a wonderful communication method between an editor and a designer for clearly communicating changes. So we're in Acrobat 9, and I guess the, the first question is, how do you make a comment? Um, I, would, I would refer you to over, the little, over here, the little comments icon on the side, that you'd think that would be a good place to start making a comments, but um, there's nothing in there. This is where you view the comments, and so we want to figure out how to make the comments. Those, that functionality is sort of hiding. Uh, we're going to go up to, uh, up to the menu bar at the top, and we're going to go to comments, show, comment, and markup toolbar. And here's all the different types of comments that you can make. Um, yours may come out, uh, it might show up like that. I like to have mine docked in the top bar up here, so you can just drag those little dotted lines and just drop it in there, and they'll stay uh, right in the top bar so you have access to them anytime. So, the, let's say that the first thing that you want to do is just make a note, and the first inclination might be um, a sticky note. So click in the sticky note icon and just click anywhere in the document that you want to put it. This is my note. You can type all kinds of information in here. Um, if you like, you can change the color. Right click on it and go to properties. You have a choice of a bunch of different icons. You also have a choice of a variety of colors, and you can change the opacity. Not sure why you'd want to, but, you know, it's there if you want it to be. The next tool is, which is actually more useful than the, the sticky note tool, this is the, the text, um, text edits tool. And this isn't going to actually change the text in the PDF, this is just going to make like a proofreader annotation for whoever gets this PDF that they need to change the text in in the PDF on you know in the design file and this is a, a great tool it's again it's a little hard to use the first thing you have to do is select the text that you want to change and nothing happens it's just highlighted now there's you you can do it two ways you can either right click and choose which function you want to happen cross out replace add note underline highlight you can do that here, so we'll do that. We'll do um, we'll do cross out text because I think that's probably um, more common. We'll do cross out text, and it just puts lines in it. And I think normally yours would probably start out red because uh, that's the default color for cross out text. But like the sticky notes, you can change it to whatever color you want. And for some reason, I had changed my cross out lines to to orange at one point in time. But if you don't like the color of the crossouts, maybe your text is red and the red crossout line is a little hard to see, you can change it to a different color like blue. I would just warn you to be be kind of um, consistent in which colors you use because um, blue is actually the default color for another type of text edit. Now I had mentioned that there's two places you can make the text edit. You can either right click on your text or you can go back up here to this text uh, edits tool and choose replace selected text. And you'll notice that this is blue and that's the default color which you can change but the default color for replace selected text is a blue cross out. And you'll also notice down here there's like a little like a lower half of a barbell and you also get a pop-up note here and it's indicating in the top of the pop-up note that it's replacement text but it when you select the text and replace it it automatically creates this pop-up note so you can start typing in here or what I like to do this is a really handy feature I use this for translating this newsletter gets translated into Spanish so in the past what I've done is I have whoever is in charge of the translating they select the text they choose replace text and they just either paste in the Spanish that someone has given them or they type in the Spanish here. And that's a really, this is a really great way to go because you can just choose a single block of text 
you know, one block at a time and replace it with the correct the correct translated text. And that way it's it's really clear to the designer who in this case doesn't speak Spanish. It's really clear what bit of Spanish goes with what bit of English because I can kind of wing it sometimes, but I'm not fluent by any stretch of the imagination. So um, it's going to be really clear when working on a project that involves translating, use the replacement text tool. It makes things so much easier, especially when there's a whole bunch of captions and a whole bunch of different options all around the page, different bits of text that you have to translate again and again and again. Um, so please use the replacement text tool. It's going to make it's going to make your designer's life so much easier. I'll do a couple more examples here. Oh, I need to select some new text. So I'll select select another bit of text and highlight selected text. I like to use this like if I have a question uh, about a bit of text and it's you know. I don't need to replace it, I don't need to cross it off, I just have a question, hey, can you verify this for me? And you'd say, how can you ask a question? It's not a sticky note. Well, the sticky note is good for asking questions because it gives you this pop-up note that you can type into, but the highlight, the highlight tool is really great because you can just highlight a, an entire block of text that you want to ask a question about. And check this out. Remember how on the on the replace selected text you got, the, you got a, a pop-up note that you got to type in? any comment can have a pop-up note and the way you get to it is you right click on it and you choose open pop-up note and then hey I have a question you can type whatever you want into this and so this question this pop-up note is associated with this specific block of highlighted text so again it just it's really clear um, it's a really clear way to communicate when you have questions about things regarding text. Okay, I've got too many sticky notes up. How do I get rid of them? Uh, how do I just hide them all instead of having to click on them one at a time? I'm going to go to comments and then where did it go? Comment view. In Acrobat 10, they moved everything so it's easier to find, and this is why, because in Acrobat 9, it was things were really buried. So go to comment, comment view, and and if you hide all the comments, they're gonna like totally disappear. And it's easy to just click through this menu and say, oh, okay, don't show again, and you're like, hey, where'd all my comments go? They're still there. Um, that's not what I wanted. So comment, we're gonna show all comments. Okay. I see you. Comments. Comment view. This is what I want. Minimize all pop-ups. Okay, that's better. So the next thing that I want to show you is whoop, select some more text here. And then we're going to go um, this add note to selected text is this kind of like a combination it's like a one-step process of of what I just did it highlights the text and it automatically adds a sticky note like a pop-up to it um, so you can do it either way you can highlight it or you can you can add comment to selected text all right next one is insert text at cursor which is handy if um, if you say like oh at the end of this sentence here I need to um, I need to add another sentence or add some a whole another page of text <laughs> you know whatever you want to add in there it's gonna just put that little barbell which is what we saw over here on the replace selected text but it's just gonna put that little barbell there um, at the cursor location and then give you the pop-up to type in the next one is oh we have to highlight some more for these I like that sentence. Underline selected text. Again, not sure what this would be useful for, but it's there if you need it. And don't forget that like like all comment tools, every single comment in commenting tool in Acrobat, you can right click on it and make a pop-up note. Okay, and the final one I want to show you is the cross out 
text for deletion, which is just going to give you, I think we did that first, it gives you um, normally red lines, I changed mine to orange, it's just going to give you red cross out lines 